Hello and welcome back to the RDF Tactics YouTube channel. Today's video is all about Hansi Flick's tactic at FC Bayern and how he turned them into world champions. But before we get into the analyst bit of the video, let's get stuck into this. I'm proud to announce that the RDF Tactics YouTube channel has teamed up with OneFootball. It's a great footballing app, if you haven't tried it out before then make sure you do, it's free so why not, you have nothing to lose and the link is in the description below. My personal favourite thing about the app is receiving the latest news, transfer rumours, tracking live scores but also and of course getting match stats so I can make videos just like this one. There's a video section as well, it's a pretty cool app where you can watch football highlights, historic moments and even post or pre-match conferences. I'm currently using the app to receive news on my favourite team as you have the option to do so. It's a really good app to get your daily football updates and football news. So give it a go, it's completely free and I promise you, you won't look back and remember, the link is in the description below. So far with his career at the club, Flick has seamlessly achieved success with Bayern Munich in stunning fashion. The former Bayern player has achieved wide-scale success as Germany's assistant coach, winning the World Cup as Lowe's assistant in 2014. Flick has now taken his former side to new heights, with all of his international experience creating the most exciting Bayern Munich team since the days of Ribéry and Robben. In the 2019-20 season, Bayern won 26 of their 34 Bundesliga games, scoring 100 goals in that process. They fared arguably even better in the Champions League, winning the competition scoring 43 goals in the process. That's right, they achieved 3.91 goals per game in the toughest competition in club football. How did they achieve that? Here is a tactical analyst of Hans Dieter Flick's Bayern Munich. With a great mix of experience and youth, Flick has taken the same approach formation-wise as his predecessor, Niko Kovac, and adopted the 4-2-3-1 formation. However, Hansi Flick's 4-2-3-1 looks very different from Kovac's, and it shows on the pitch in Bayern's success over the last couple of seasons under the German manager. These days, a feature of almost all of the world's best teams, Bayern Munich press from the front with intensity and aggression. The 4 2 3 1 A's ideally in a triangular shape in the press, with the double pivot rarely needing to become engaged due to the intensity of the front four. Not just are they fantastic at winning the ball high up the pitch, they are also one of the best in the world in that regard. Their narrow attacking shape is also very effective when Bayern loses the ball as players are positioned close to the ball, enabling them to press effectively. This also gives them a chance to win second balls or rebounds before their opponents get to the ball. That said, given Hansi Flick's impressive pressing statistics this season and their increased goal scoring from winning the ball back within the 40 metres of their opponent's goal, it's no surprise in the top 5 European leagues is Bayern Munich who have the most successful pressures in the attacking third per 90, 45.8. They typically use a man-orientated approach when the opposition builds up, trying to regain possession high up the pitch or force them into making errors. Bayern have averaged 61.4 possession on the flick this season and key to possession based sides, Bayern Munich retains possession but at a high tempo, aiming to get the ball forward into the advanced areas. Bayern Munich attempt to create numerical overloads using both the back four and the double pivot, allowing them to progress and transition from the build up phase to the attacking third. By creating an overload during the build up, Bayern Munich always have a free man, making it easier to play through any press and operate in between the lines. If opponents are using a low block, they will invite a press from the opposition to give the attacking players more space to roam and operate. Bayern Munich's play focuses on gaining attacking momentum and getting the ball into the front four as quickly as possible to have possession in the attacking third, where Bayern Munich are certainly most dangerous. Bayern have become one of the best sides in Europe going forward on the flick. Compared to Europe's top 5 leagues, Bayern have scored the most goals, 78, with 3 goals per 90 and 35 of those 78 goals have come from the main man, Robert Lewandowski. Bayern Munich look to crowd the box, or in analytic terms, overload the box with plenty of runners penetrating different spaces. If the ball is worked out wide, then the crosser would have plenty of available options inside the box. With runners coming in, Bayern can often cover most spaces inside the box. In addition to building their attacks, 
Bayern Munich love to attack down the wings. This is evidenced by their average of 26 crosses per game in the Bundesliga this season, the highest. Bayern have attacked down their left hand side 39% so far in the Bundesliga this season, down the right is 36%, meaning in the league they hardly attack centrally and they are ranked 15 out of the 18 teams with attacks down the middle, 25%. But their counter pressing has also become very effective to how Bayern attack as their high press creates counter attacking opportunities. Winning the ball using their very high line of engagement, players are already in advanced positions and in a forward motion, quickly turning a defensive situation into attack, resulting in little long shots and most shots are taken in the 18 yard box. Bayern's wing attacks tend to overload and isolate, meaning they control and overload on one side during the build-up, opening space for the opposite winger to move in central areas. By overloading on one side of the pitch, the defending team will shift over, and that's how the opposite winger finds space to penetrate and exploit the space. Though, it's not just an attacker that benefits from this free space. Often we've seen when the space is created on the left flank, the left winger may tuck in a lot more narrowly, allowing Alfonso Davis to be the one to get forward and exploit that open space. Concluding their attack, Bayern like to attack directly by passing into the path of pacey wingers. They constantly look for a direct route straight to the goal once the ball has been won on the counter press, giving their opponents very little time to organise. Also, with their counter pressing, when Bayern Munich take the crossing route, they have deeper players making forward runs inside the box and if defended well, Bayern Munich have a man or two outside the box ready to sweep up and put Bayern Munich on the attack again. So for the conclusion, Hansi Flick has dramatically improved Bayern Munich since his arrival. The Bavarians are excellent at winning the ball back, better at finding the back of the net after winning the ball back and look on all accounts a dangerous side going forward. With the fantastic partnership of Robert Lewandowski and Thomas Muller, plus the rising talents of Alfonso Davis and Musiala, Bayern Munich have so much to offer going forward and could hurt any team on their day. But that's my tactical analyst wrapped up and credits to the mastermind site for help with the script. But what we are going to do right now is go into Football Manager where we completely dominated every single competition. But we're going to look at the tactics mainly, then look at the results before closing the video. So here we are, RDF Hansi's flick 4-2-3-1 Bayern Munich tactic. It's a 4-2-3-1 of course and with this tactic we literally dominated every single competition but this tactic doesn't come without you needing to tweak for example. Focus play down the flanks. This isn't always effective depending on the opposition. When you are playing and you notice this isn't effective, simply just remove these instructions. But also for the attacking midfielder role, for me I used Thomas Muller in this role but not every single time he decided to drop deep and come to collect the ball. If too often he is too far forward from the rest of the team then he can simply change his role to an advanced playmaker on the attack duty and then he should become more involved in the build up play. But in goal we do have the super keeper on the support duty which of course will be Manuel Neuer. Left back we have the wing back on the support duty. His instruction is to tackle harder and mark tighter. At the right back we have a full back on the support duty. Someone that plays with a little more caution so they will give us extra defensive stability. But his role in duty is full back on the support duty. His instruction is to tackle harder and mark tighter. In defence we have a nice balance of risk taking and safe playing. We are using a ball playing defender and a central defender both on the defend duty. For our double pivot we are using two defensive midfielders but they have slightly different roles. On the left hand side he's going to be more of the safer option, he's going to pass it shorter, tackle harder and mark tighter whilst the player on the right side can be seen as more of the creator. He's going to be playing more direct passes, encouraging more vertical passes, taking more risk, getting further forward, tackling harder and marking tighter. On the left flank and the right flank we have two inverted wingers, the left sided inverted winger is instructed to sit more narrower allowing the wing back to get further forward but he is also instructed to tackle harder and mark tighter. In attacking midfield we have the advanced playmaker or the shadow striker depending on the role, he's instructed to roam from position, tackle harder and mark tighter if using as a shadow striker. But because this is Thomas Muller, he is a master of finding space, so he's instructed to get further forward, 
roam from positions and move into channels as an advanced playmaker. Lastly, up top we have the main man Robert Lewandowski as the pressing forward. He's instructed to play more direct passes so again just encouraging more vertical passes and also to shoot more often. So those are the player roles and the instructions for the team instructions, the mentality is on positive, the attacking width is set to fairly wide, the approach play we are going to pass into space to be more direct once we won that ball, we are going to focus down the left and down the right, once again this can be removed if it's ineffective for you, but this is to encourage overloading on one side of the pitch, allowing more space on the other side of the pitch. We are also going to play out from the defence, the passing directness is on shorter with the tempo on extremely high. Lastly, the dribbling instruction we are going to be running at the defence. In transition, of course, and vital, when the possession has been lost we are going to counter press and when possession has been won we are going to make our counter movements. When the goalkeeper is in possession he's going to distribute it quickly and he's also going to distribute it looking for the centre backs. Out of possession for the defensive shape, again very very vital, the line of engagement is on much higher. The defensive line is on higher, we are going to be using the offside trap, our defensive width is narrow so we are going to be forcing the opposition on the outside and the pressing intensity is set to extremely urgent with prevent short goalkeeper distribution. That is the player roles, the player instructions and the team instructions. How well did we do using this tactic? We did very well. In the competitions in the Bundesliga we played 34 with a goal difference of plus 78 and getting 95 points leaving a 26 point gap between first and second. I believe that's 26 points if I do my maths. Yep 26 points. Robert Lewandowski being a top goal scorer for Bayern scoring 23 goals in the Bundesliga. Leroy Sane surprised surprisingly with the highest average rated player and the most assist is Thomas Muller. We are the world champions, we won the club world championship, we won the champions league beating Inter in the final 0-0 but beating them on penalties, we won the European super cup but we came runners up in the DFB Pokal but we did win the German super cup. So in total we managed to win 5 trophies using this tactic and as you can see the top goal scorer for most competitions Lewandowski, 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 Lewandowski and Lewandowski. But in the Bundesliga when it comes to goals we scored the most goals, we scored 93 goals getting 2.79 points per game, we faced the fewest shots, we had the most shots at goal, for the most possession we came in third with 54% so we still dominated possession, with dribbles made we made the most dribbles, we got the best clean sheet record as well with 24 clean sheets and for the most tackles won well we aren't in that table and neither are we in the past completion ratio table. For the player statistics, surprise, Lewandowski wasn't the top goal scorer, but he did get some rest during the season and you can see that he only started 25 games compared to Haaland who started 31 games. But Lewandowski scored 23 goals, Sane scored 21 goals and Serge Gnabry scored 14 goals. Leroy Sane took the most shots, Lewandowski came in second, Gnabry came in third for Bayern Munich. For the most player of the match awards, Leroy Sane is there, Thomas Muller and Serge Gnabry both getting 5 each. For the most passes or key passes, Joshua Kimmich with 111 key passes, Leroy Sane with 106. For the most dribbles made, no surprise, Leroy Sane. And for the fewest conceded, again, no surprise, Manuel Neuer. For the team report, you can see for the attacking efficiency, Bayern Munich were very aggressive and clinical. If we check our defensive record, defensive efficiency, we were quiet but a little close to the leaky side, a little closer than we wanted with the high lines, with the high pressure, of course some gaps are going to appear between our defensive line and our goalkeeper, which of course happens in real life but because Bayern Munich scores so many goals, that little flaw can be dismissed. For the goals, how did we score most of our goals? 63 goals were scored by play shots, that is how we scored most of our goals. For the assist, 19 came from three balls and 20 came from headers. And in the schedules or the results, you can see that we got a fair share of some very good results. 
beating Augsburg 4-0, beating Liverpool 4-0. We did lose 3-0 to Leipzig, but we are just going to kind of ignore that one. Borussia Dortmund, we beat them 5-0. We beat FC Cologne 5-1. Freiburg 7-0 in the league, but that isn't the only time we won 7-0. We beat Wolfsburg 7-0 also. We beat Union Berlin 5-1. So you can see there are a lot of big results and big scores for FC Bayern Munich. But lastly, we are going to look at the squad statistics. Robert Lewandowski, the top goal scorer, 35 goals in 39 appearances, which is very good, alongside 10 assists. Leroy Sane, probably the best player in this whole team. He scored 28 goals with 17 assists in 42 games. Serge Gnabry scored 22 goals and got 7 assists. Thomas Muller scored 14 goals, getting 15 assists. David Alaba was also important in getting assists, but Joshua Kimmich, look at him, 12 assists in 14 appearances, that is amazing and it kind of replicates his performances currently in real life. For the average rated players, the highest average rated players, the top three are Leroy Sane, Robert Lewandowski and Joshua Kimmich, which isn't too different to real life. In real life, it's probably Lewandowski, Kimmich and Thomas Muller, but this is Football Manager, we're not going to get the exact replication but that wraps up this video unfortunately if you are new or you haven't yet make sure you are subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that like button make sure you leave a comment of any recommendations and tactics you would like to see next shout out to one football a big thank you to them and make sure you hit the link in the description get the app make sure you download it make sure you use it my name is rdf it's been a pleasure doing this video for you guys make sure you stay safe out there see ya peace out